Hello, I am here to show you how to do some pretty basic contouring and just how that can work to create more of your flawless face. So right now I have my matte wear foundation and I have my translucent powder and then of course my finishing spray. So that's what I've got on so far. I'm going to use a bit of my um, perfecting concealer in light ivory. So I'm just going to dab it on my wrist like this. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm just going to put underneath, I've got some like poofy bags here. So I'm just going to do a little bit underneath. And then I'm going to go right underneath my eye because that tends to stay a little bit reddish. Um, and then the other area that I'm going to go is I'm going to go right under my eyebrow. just creates that little bit of lift. And that even shows up a little bit more dramatically once I have my eyebrows on. And I don't yet, so. And then I usually do, so depending on your eye shape will depend what you want to lighten. If you have wide set eyes, then doing this light in the center, I would not suggest. But if you have close set eyes or normal, then you can definitely do that. Okay, so that's about there. Basically anything that you want to bring forward you're going to use light. Anything that you want to push back, um, you're going to use dark. So I'm going to do our, our contour shade in Cocoa today. And this is our cheek brush. I love it. It's angled like that. So I'm actually gonna use this part for the contour have a bit more control and so I'm gonna you want to stick with your contouring basically bring down your eyes and back you don't want to go into here so if you can tell where your cheekbones are then you can do this and if you're not sure then if you smile or do this see how that works I'm gonna go this side and so it depends on what you're contouring for if you're doing like those Instagram glam girls where they got like totally like chiseled definition then totally you'll probably leave it a little bit more however I like it blended it's amazing how it just like oh, see can you tell the difference from there to what it was before um, Okay, so if there's any other areas, like this tends to be, have a stronger jaw, then I can do a little bit along here if I want to. And it just, the dark almost makes, it's, it creates a shadow. It's all an optical illusion. You know, and it just depends on, I'm gonna, post a contouring so depending on your face shape gives you ideas as to where to contour because not all face shapes are going to want to contour right here so if you've ever tried and played with contouring before and you're like uh it looks awful you're possibly just doing it for the wrong face shape you can get into you know if you want to create a more narrow nose or a wider nose you can use the dark along here and the light in the center if you want it narrower or the opposite and then I'm just going to take my cheek color in Juicy Peach. 
And now I'm using the same brush, I'm just going flat. So your cheek color, you basically want to keep it about two fingers away from your nose. Your cheeks should never enter the room before you do. And chances are, if somebody comments you on your cheek color, unless they're a makeup artist, you should probably change it. So here you are, just some basic contouring. We can go into more in depth if you're interested. You can comment below and I can um, we can set up a time that we can do that personally with you. But there we go, and then of course, my setting spray. So shake it, and there we go. So have a great day, thanks for watching.